Then we will move to reports, item five. And first is recognition of staff students. While Mr. Buss is coming forward, I'll just mention each of you should have received um, a sheet that talks about our National Art Honor Society. They're having their formal gathering and pledging to commit themselves to art in the community. And they are inviting you to attend that activity on January 14th at 6 p.m. 1012 on Main Street. That is um, oh, the fun. new renovated building. Uh, let's see, oh. it's right next to. It's a theater like, building. It's right? the theater. Yeah. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, no, no. Right. It's I mean, the, it's the gallery. It's where yes. they. Um, yeah. Jane Donaldson has her art gallery in the back half. And yes. The health food. The health food yes. store. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's right. the front half. That's 1012. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's really on. It's it's on Superior Avenue. Yes, it's yes. right. It's called 1012. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. It says Tricky. real big Sorry. across the yes. top of the building. Yes. Can't miss it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Good evening. Mr. Best. Um, I have uh, the privilege of going ahead and recognizing a student, and the student doesn't even know this yet. So as I know it's being taped, hopefully she doesn't watch it, because we'd like to actually present her with something during the week this week. Um, I'd like to read something to you. Um, on December 2nd, the AM bus picked up Cassie Slater. She was the first one on the bus. Immedi immediately after the bus picked up another student, on the way to the next stop, Cassie notified the driver that the young man was having a seizure. The driver proceeded to the hospital where she was cared for in a, in, in a very timely manner. In route, Cassie voluntarily kept the driver informed about what the young man was doing, allowing the driver to concentrate on driving, ensuring a safe arrival at the hospital. Cassie's actions assisted greatly in expediting the care for the young man. Uh, her eagerness to assist in an emergency situation is to be commended. We have monthly students of character at the middle school. And this is someone here that wasn't a lesson that she was being taught by a teacher, it was a life lesson. And she stepped up to the plate when she needed it. Uh, she did an absolutely fantastic job. Um, what we're going to do is actually, she's a very private young lady. So we're actually, uh, amongst one of her classes in a smaller setting, uh, present her with something that we know will be special to her and something that will be special to her classmates too. But I know that if I pull her up in front of an all-school assembly on Thursday, she will melt into, <laughs> into a, a million pieces. I don't want to get into her. She's a fantastic young lady and really, without being asked, uh, I think some, uh, some motherly instincts and a student of character really kicked in. So she's to be commended and I wanted to share that with her. So, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Anyone else? I'm going to pass around also just a letter that we received from the Department of Public Instruction. Back in 2009, the district went through a civil rights audit. Um, and based on that, there were some corrective actions that we needed to take. And the letter that we received um, just this <coughs> December 9th indicates that we have, we're in full compliance at this point in time, and um, the review is complete and closed. So we're very happy about that letter. An audit of this nature is extremely time consuming. A lot of staff members were involved in collecting data and information, and it's rare that you ever are in. 100% compliance. So um, it's nice to have this off of our plate in terms of things to do that needed to be done. So. Thank you. And, and thank you to the staff that worked very diligently and hard to correct everything we needed to have done. Then I would like to bring forward, I'm not sure that everyone received this. I know one of our members did receive it, but. Um, we received a letter from the WASB and specifically from John Ashley, the director of the WASB. And this year they will be recognizing one of our members, and that is Gary Grovesing. And I would just like to read some of this from the letter from um, Mr. Ashley. Congratulations, dear Gary, congratulations on your completion of 30 years of service to your local school board. The WASB would like to recognize your exemplary efforts on behalf of the children in Wisconsin Public Schools. WASB President Rick Elaranta and I invite you to attend the Thursday, January 19, 2012 general session of the 91st State Education Convention to receive your commendation. The general session begins at 
and is at the Frontier Airlines Center in Milwaukee. And there will be a rehearsal prior to that at 11.15 that day. <laughs> so um, they're inviting you to have your picture taken, of course, with the superintendent of DPI, Tony Evers, and Mr. Alarenta. So uh, on behalf of us, Gary, we want to congratulate you on your 30 years and recognition from this WASB group is well deserved and the Toma School District definitely deserves to give you a lot of recommendation from this also. So congratulations. Please consider coming and, and being be a part here. of that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss we rehearsal. Got it arranged. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, got a hit rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> hit rehearsal. Well, thank you. That's good to hear, Gary. Good. Yeah, well. <laughs> good. Anyone else have anything to bring forward? <laughs> 